What's up, YouTube? My name's Aja. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm bringing you another unboxing and cleansing video, but this time I'm bringing you a lovely self care and self love oracle deck called Shine from the Inside. It's by Brittany Carmichael, and the artwork is by Jenna Kane. I want to bring you this self-love deck because Valentine's Day is on Sunday, and it'll be great for a self-love ritual. I'm going to have a video for that for you guys as well, but let's just get started into this one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. So first step, you guys know we do it every single time. We're going to spiritually cleanse the area, all of our objects, and the deck. Today we are using Palo Santo as our first cleansing object, but you guys know I love to get way more than one step because <laughs> I'm extra. <laughs> but we are going to use Palo Santo, which is an amazing wood. Burn it with fire to ignite your intentions into the universe, and then you let the air walk them into existence. Today we are welcoming in loving energy, beautiful energy, positivity, and we are removing all negativity that this deck may have picked up in the mail or at the store that you buy it from. So we are going to welcome in all of these positive energies and remove any negative ones. Palo Santo is great for aromatherapy. It smells amazing. And we are of course going to do this with the wrapper on because wrappers carry energy too. Don't get it twisted. Now let's bust it open. This is such a satisfying feeling to me. <laughs> Ooh, yes, no more wrapper. Look at how beautiful the deck looks without it. I love that. So the back says, there's no magic pill for self-love. Discover the magic within and break free of fear that holds you back from your shining light. Feeling stuck or needing a motivational kick in the butt? Create a fun and playful approach to making friends with your inner mean girl so you can confidently reclaim your power with this 44 card self-love oracle deck, self-love oracle and guidebook. And I do show you guys every single card at the end. These cards will help you to believe in yourself, overcome overwhelming negative thoughts, and encourage you to manifest your wild and crazy dreams. This tool for self-discovery embodies empowerment, equality, courage, freedom, sisterhood, and the space to be your authentic self unapologetically. Next, I'm using my hibiscus flower tonic mixed with rose water to welcome in more loving energy and to further cleanse our deck. We're going to spray it for self-love, self-care, and rub it in with your intentions. This is another magical potion I made with rose water cinnamon, vanilla, and colloidal gold. It definitely welcomes in attraction, desire, love. It is perfect for Valentine's Day. And let's open the box, finally. So there's the guidebook and the inside of the box says, you are meant to shine. That is beautiful. Now let's use the same three steps to cleanse our guidebook and our cards. We're gonna get them nice and thoroughly through all the pages. Let them sift through the energies, let them absorb them. We're gonna use both of our tonics and the Palo Santo. Here's the back of the cards. They are beautiful on the inside of the deck. Moons, crystals, stars, and the color scheme is gorgeous. Has nice holographic edges. They are so pretty. They're silver, and this is the first card. They are so nice. The artwork is amazing. It's beautiful, and the energies are so soft and feminine and glamorous. We're going to spray those as well. I definitely sell everything you see here on my website so that you can cleanse your cards too when you buy them. Make sure we remove any negativity from the cards too, now that they're open from the box. We're going to also Palo Santo them. Welcome in positivity, beauty, self-love, glamor, self-care, 
These are perfect for Valentine's Day. Welcome in romance, creativity with the Palo Santo. Get it through the pages nice and thoroughly of the guidebook so that you can welcome in your spirit guides and angels and your source and gods to help guide you through this deck. Y'all know I was hyped when I saw that the book is in color, bitch. She got a budget, period. <laughs> it just gives you things like basics, how to put your intentions into the cards, some spreads, one card spreads, three card spreads. You guys know how normal guidebooks go. There's a self-care spread and a self-love spread that I would love to show you guys in the future. Get these and try them out for yourself because that is why I'm showing them you for Valentine's Day. Next, these gorgeous love potions that I make. You can get them on Valentine's Day on ajasaura.com. If you want to see me make them and know all of the ingredients, go check out my TikTok, Aja's Aura. You're going to nourish your hands and the deck with these. I put six drops just intuitively and it is so perfect and so lovely for welcoming in loving energies for self-care for self-love and to nourish yourself to pamper yourself really show yourself that you still care Get it on the cards too, of course, to give them the same energies. Everything I make is of course safe for your cards because they're all natural and handmade by me. They're safe for you as well. Last, I'm going to activate a crystal grid with the self-love cards. We're going to use a bunch of different crystals for love, like rhodonite, rose quartz, strawberry quartz, pink tourmaline, rhodochrosite, and of course I have all of these roses and lavender around so that we can activate all of the loving energies in this deck, all the caring, beautiful energies in this deck. We activate it clockwise and I'm using the deck as the center of the grid. Use your rose quartz wand to infuse your own energy into the deck. I love doing this with all of my different wands. You guys see it in a lot of my videos. Tap it and encapsulate it with your own energies. Welcome it into your universe. Welcome its loving energies. Welcome your own loving energies into the deck. Bond with it in this time. And yes, bitch, we finished the routine. I made it short and sweet so that we can hurry up and get into the cards. I'll read all of them for you and go through all 44 cards. This is the first one, align your intentions with your actions. Allow unlimited abundance. Ask for help, it doesn't make you weak. Awaken your authentic self and be true to you. Be bold. Don't be afraid to stand out. Believe in yourself. Unleash your inner unicorn. Breathe in bliss. Exhale bullshit. <laughs> ha! Love it. Celebrate yourself. You deserve it. Change one thing today. Start small. Commit to self-care rituals. Create your own happiness. Embrace your inner divine goddess. And this baby, we found the card from the front. I love seeing the card on the cover because it makes me feel like that's what inspired the whole entire deck. Forgive someone. Get back to nature and reconnect to your hippie roots. Get creative and excite your imagination with wonder. Gratitude Rampage. List 10 things you're thankful for. Journal it out. Write how you feel. 
keep your thoughts positive. And y'all, I swear I'm not moving this. And that's the card that we picked at the end. So it really, really wanted our attention. <laughs> Look for the signs and synchronicities. Nourish your body with high vibing energy. Perform a random act of kindness. Practice feng shui, create a sacred space. Relief self-doubt, let go of fear. Remove the limiting labels you're wearing. Set your intentions with heart and soul. Show off your sparkle and shine from the inside. Sorry, I shook the camera. Slow down and rest. You need it. Stay away from drama today. Step out of your comfort zone and try something new. Stop judging and start loving. Surround yourself with your soul tribe. Look at that three of cups energy. Today holds unlimited possibilities to see the beauty in life. Treat yourself to something beautiful today, especially on Valentine's Day. Trust your intuition, she's always right. Tune into your inner peace. Turn criticism into kindness. Turn lemons into lessons. Unleash your inner wild child, get up and dance. Write down your goals, dream big. You are perfectly beautiful. You are pure magic. Oh girl, I hit that camera hard. <laughs> your reality is a reflection of your inner world. Your soul whispers love, your ego shouts fear. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the last card. There's the back again, rub off these lavender flowers, and we are done. It is so beautiful. That deck was amazing, and it is perfect to get before Valentine's Day. Welcome in self-care and self-love, and we are going to do an oracle draw with the deck just to see what kind of energies are in here. So I'm just going to give it a shuffle and pick a little card for the video, see what kind of energies were surrounding us by the end. The self-care spread though in the book, I want to read to you guys, it has four positions. Card one, my biggest self-care struggle. Card two, what I need most now. Card three, what I need to do better in the future. And card four, what I need to avoid. The self-love spread is five cards. And it says, what is my biggest self-love lesson to learn? What makes me amazing? What is blocking me? What do others love about me? How do I show myself more love? So you can shuffle while reading these questions one by one. Make this spread that I show you guys on the screen and just do it with any of your Oracle cards if you want to. But I definitely recommend these because the artwork is so feminine. It connects you to your sacred divine goddess energy and it is perfect for Valentine's Day, especially if you're gonna be alone. <laughs> so I was going to lay the cards out and intuitively pick one, but two cards jumped out at us first. And shockingly, it's the card that was fucking moving earlier without me touching it. <laughs> that card wanted our attention so bad. Keep your thoughts positive. And then we got Create Your Own Happiness, which happened to be my favorite artwork of the whole deck. And it happened to jump out of me, so I think it definitely was feeling my vibes that I was loving it because this is a very loving unboxing. And that, you guys, is it. I'm so excited you made it all the way to the end. And I will see you guys later. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what your favorite card is in this deck and if you get it. Virtual kisses. Bye. Peace. Mwah, mwah. I love you guys. Love you. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>